We are here in Uganda for the second part of Pope Francis's visit to Africa. Pope Francis arrived today to a rapturous welcome of Africans singing and dancing at Entebbe Airport, along with a military display which included the firing of cannons. Following his arrival at the airport, the Pope went to State House in Entebbe where he addressed political leaders. He also had a private meeting with the president of South Sudan, a country which is uh, in some difficulty and where lots of uh, people are fleeing the country into Uganda. There's a refugee crisis there. Uh, this just underlines the Pope's role on the world stage to bring about peace, try and bring about reconciliation. The Pope stressed to the leaders in Uganda that he would like them to, he'd like to see transparent uh, governance, which I think is interesting given that Uganda is considered to be one of the more corrupt countries in the world. Uh, indeed, it was corruption that the Pope stressed during his meeting with young people uh, in Kenya before coming to Uganda. He told them to resist the temptation uh, to be corrupt, which he said was a, su a sweet thing like sugar. He would have it must be resisted. Uh, and before he met them, he went to the slum in Kangemi for a moving meeting with the poor there. And again, he stressed that political leaders uh, must do more to help the excluded and the marginalized, which he saw in the slum. So we're seeing today, we saw today the themes of anti-corruption, the need to uh, be transparent in governance, and also the Pope's desire to see peace and reconciliation, consistent themes uh, in this visit.